The high voltage drama in Tamil Nadu continues amid that bitter barb exchange between O Panir Selvam and Sasikala. To take you through all the very latest, let's cut across live to Chennai, where Padmaja Joshi, my colleague, now joins us from outside of Poes Garden. Padmaja, over to you. Thanks very much, Smita. And I'm going to start with a cliche on this lovely, sweltering, hot afternoon in Chennai. And the heat is rising even as both sides again are now girded up to take on each other. They're nicely warmed up over the weekend where they have ensured that they trade barbs, they play the emotional card, they sneer at each other. But today the matter is going to be addressed in various fora. First, of course, is going to be that report, that affidavit that is going to be submitted in the Madras High Court about the alleged confinement of some MLAs. The second is going to be an attempt again to try and seek an appointment with the governor. And third, possibly Shashikala shifting her battle to Delhi as well. But in the midst of all this, even as the governor's role has consistently been questioned by the Shashikala camp, there is the centre which has now stepped forward and defended the governor. Minister speaking to India today saying that he has followed the letter and spirit of the constitution and to impute any political motive to his decisions and his actions so far is completely unfair. Take a listen. In fact, earlier, remember, we had spoken to one senior jurist, former Attorney General Soli Sorabji, who was in fact consulted by the governor uh, just a few days ago. And while Mr. Sorabji said that there is nothing wrong in what the governor has done so far, the decision vis-a-vis -vis the test of numbers can be deferred for a bit, but it cannot be denied. Listen in to Soli Sorabji in conversation with India today. Normally, the governor has to act according to advice. But the, here the point is that there is a Supreme Court judgment which is pending. In that case, Shashi Kala was convicted by the lower court. Right. High court acquitted her. Now the Supreme Court heard the matter. And suppose the Supreme Court takes a view. Suppose that she's guilty of corruption. Mm. Then what happens? She incurs disqualification on Article 102. So then to swear her and then to come down. But the governor can't wait indefinitely. He can defer the swearing in. He can't decline swearing in. So what you're saying is that essentially, I mean, since the fact of the matter is that the judgment is very, I mean, is just, just about to be delivered in a matter of days. Expected. Uh, expected. expected. So uh, there's, there's no, nothing wrong to be deferred for a few days. So yeah. My understanding is that it will be given by Tuesday, Wednesday. If it's not given, then of course, then, of course, he has to, uh, the, the uh, House has to be summoned, plot has to be taken, and the majority will be proved. So but here the governor comes in because of this very imminent judgment of the Supreme Court, which will m make it clear whether she has incurred disqualification or not. Incurred disqualification meaning if she is held to be convicted, then she incurs disqualification in Article 102. So for this short time, short period, the governor I don't think we accused of lack of bona fides if the first swearing in for a short time. Now, sources in the Raj Bhavan, while speaking to India today, have said that the reason why the governor has decided to wait and watch is because the verdict in the disproportionate assets case in the Supreme Court is awaited. It is going to come out any time this week, most possibly on Wednesday. And that is why this particular decision has been put on hold. But is that argument valid? We spoke to another senior legal mind, former Solicitor General Mohan Parasaran, and here's what he had to say. person has to be first sworn in as chief minister and then that person has to be asked to prove his or her majority mm -hmm. within a reasonable period right so if uh, mrs sasikala is invited first she has to be sworn in as chief minister if the governor exercises his discretion in a manner that he feels that uh, mr panir salvam should be actually asked uh, to do that uh, task first, he should swear in Mr. Panir Salvam. 
And going by the numbers, you think that Sasikala has that number right As now? As of today, it is clearly demonstrable that uh, Mrs. Sasikala has got the numbers more than Mr. Pandit Salvam, much more. I think the governor actually must ensure a free and fair actually assembly session in which uh, the legislators uh, vote as per uh, their free will. Well, the other interesting bit is uh, when he all right, in fact, we're just getting in news that M.K. Stalin has just reached the Secretariat. Remember, Open East Selvam is also likely to be going. In fact, he's definitely going to be going to the Secretariat today. Why this is interesting is because uh, this is the first time that he's going to be going to the Secretariat after he had uh, proposed the name. He had submitted his resignation and also proposed the name of Shashikala, currently the IDMK General Secretary, as the CM designate. We've got uh, my colleagues uh, Akshita, Akshaya and Shalini Lobo joining us live in fact uh, akshaya can you give us an update from the secretariat when is uh, pani selvam expected there and what's on the card well, uh, uh, Okay, slight audio issue there, but Akshita, because you are at OPS's house, has he left already? What's the agenda for the day? Well, he's expected to leave any moment now. You can see, of course, that there is heavy barricading around me. Meters away is where Pani Selvam's residence is, where you see a number of supporters have gathered. Interestingly, uh, Padmaja, I also want to show you what's happening here. A number of women supporters have come together uh, to do a puja for oh, Pani Selvam. So as he gets out here in his convoy, as he comes out in his car, these women will then light the camphor that they've kept atop uh, the pumpkin. They've got those betel leaves, of course, with the uh, camphor on top as well so they will be doing a puja of sorts for Opani Zalvam right here I asked them if he'll be stopping really and they're saying of course he'll stop he is our voice he will stop for us and we will quickly do a puja for him and he will leave for the secretariat so lots of good wishes pouring in for him uh, from this area at Greenways Road where we've already seen thousands of supporters making their way inside we've seen trade union workers we've seen a uh, carder from different walks of life from all districts coming together here descending on Greenways Road which as I told you Padmaja earlier seems to be the new post garden of Chennai. A massive crowd, a lot of anticipation as Opani Sevens expected to step out any moment now and as you pointed out of course he will be going to the Secretariat. MK Stalin is already there. Pani Selvam is expected to hold a meeting to really take stock of the affairs as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned to once again re you know, reiterate that he is the Chief Minister, the leader of the state come what may whatever political war may be going on now at the moment he is still the chief minister and if there is any word of misgovernance in the state open oh, he will want to put that to rest make it very clear that politics doesn't trump administration as far as he is concerned that is possibly the message he will want to send out when he goes to the secretariat today but as you can see any moment now he will be stepping out there's a lot of police uh, a lot of barricades being put in place a lot of supporters inside as well is out here right next to me all set to welcome their chief minister <laughs> anxious people who are coming in even as we're expecting even as we're expecting we're expecting uh, Shashikala to speak in a while from now. You have uh, these people who are trying to make their way in. Over the last two days, uh, we have been speaking of how there is relative emptiness outside Post Garden. Uh, there is relative silence outside Post Garden. But just look at that, the sheer number of women who have been brought in a significant statement. Because yesterday, Shashikala speaks about how... She is a woman and which is why she is being targeted by people who were earlier arranged against Jailalita. And now you have this entire swarm of women 
all of them bearing those placards with Jay Lalita side by side with Shashikala. It's almost, it's, 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 it's very symbolic, almost uh, how Shashikala has been shown as almost a shadow of Jay Lalita and, you know, someone who is uh, projected as now a natural successor. Akshaya is also live with us and she, of course, is going to bring us up to speed with what's happening at the Secretariat. Stalin walked in a while ago, I believe, Akshaya, and you tried to ask him, what is the DMK's plan of action? Because it seems that now two factions of the AIDMK are occupying the space of the government and the opposition, leaving very little for the DMK to do. Well, Padmaja, yes, uh, the AIADMK by itself is fighting between the two groups and uh, nothing much that the DMK has to do. They're just standing as silent spectators. Even today when uh, MK Stalin, the opposition party leader and also the acting president of the DMK party walked in, we were trying to force uh, the mic in and ask few questions, but he was completely silent. And one of his aides, uh, Mr. Durai Murugan, the question that he raised was what is there for us to talk about in their uh, party politics? Uh, and that is the kind of mentality with which the opposition party is going ahead, Padmaja. But here at the Secretariat where I'm standing, it is a very tense situation. Police officials are increasing in number every few minutes. There are barricades uh, put in place all across. And uh, we are expecting that Opani oh, Selvam will come here uh, in the next 20 minutes that there might be some kind of a meeting that is issued today and also because Opani Selvam is coming here after a week's time uh, there are also uh, expectations that he will call the rest of the ministers in his cabinet to come and work because he's the acting chief minister of the state and he has the power to call them back uh, for today's work. All right, so very, very interesting developments expected uh, over the next few hours but what is really going to be keenly watched and we're just wondering what Shashi Kala is going to do next. Over the last two days, she has been jetting off to the Golden Bay Resort. After that, she has spoken extensively, something that she hasn't done down the years. She was just that person who was always at Jailalata's elbow. But now here she is, assertive, aggressive, emotional, all at the same time. What is she going to do today? Is she going to be headed to the resort all over again? Is she be going to taking her case to Delhi? That is something that we are going to keep a very close eye on. Let me get a quick update from uh, Shalini as well. I believe Shalini is... Uh, connected now and she is right inside, right at the gate in fact of Vedanilayam. What's the update from your side? Are we going to hear uh, Shashikala soon, Shalini? Well, Padmaja, as you said, this road has not seen so much activity over the past one week as it sees uh, today. And this is because the Shashikala camp believes the governor will give them time today in the evening. And so ministers, loyalists, Kada, all members of the AIA, DMK have, uh, DMK have come to uh, the post garden area here. And interestingly, just as we saw in OPS's house, there's a podium set out here, a makeshift podium where media keeps their mics and uh, you have uh, politicians go one by one one and address the gathering collected here. Now, interesting points made by CR Saraswati, who is the spokesperson of the AIA DMK and former minister Vaigi Chalvin. Interesting points that the DMK and BJP behind this entire block that the governor is taking his time and he's doing this only because uh, that uh, because of the BJP and the DMK behind favoring them and no one else. Uh, this is what they have to say, but they're very uh, they're sure that they will win. Sashikala will have majority and they're sure that the governor will give them an appointment later today for which they can parade all their MLAs, all their ministers. Behind me you can hear slogans here, everyone's sloganeering all in favour of cinema. You can see all of them with the signature two fingers raised up which signifies the two leaves. All of them with their Jayalalita, cinema badges, placards. So many people gathered here today. Activity like this never seen before here at Post Garden Padmaja, I'm sure even you have been anchoring outside Post Garden for a while now and even you haven't seen activity like this here. Uh, just listen to the noise, look at the number of people here. Women also come out in numbers today and they're sure the governor will give them an appointment and the governor will put Chinama and Pa according to all her loyalists gathered here. Padmaja.
In fact, just a while ago, speaking to Shalini, one of the Shashikala loyalists had even said that in all likelihood they'll get time with the governor. Of course, no official confirmation of this has come from Raj Bhavan itself. Let's quickly listen in to this AIADMK Shashikala supporter. Majority Paramikadore, another round of Nate Katakatu, Satam and the Kulu Talevere, Alai Pazadan, Mure and De, Satan Nibunar Hill, Karatu Chuli, Vandam Rikrahe, Akabe, either Sevi Saite, Jeranai Katame, Kapa to the Vedatil, made the Alan Rabahe, in the Alai Park Hill, make a very Alai Park and De, Nangalezu Varkrom, Katarukur. All right, and we're just getting a fresh update which has been put up by the Twitter handle of uh, the official Twitter handle of the AIDMK, which of course right now is controlled by the Shashikala camp. Uh, no one can put any hurdles. Eventually, I will succeed. So that is the message again sent out by Shashikala. That's the latest that we are hearing. In fact, uh, we will get you much more and you can expect now both sides to be much more vocal, respond almost immediately to each other because now it's a fight for public perception, even as the governor keeps Chashikala waiting. Quick break, but much more on the other side. We've got our reporters, let me tell you, outside Openi Selvam's house, at Vedunilayam inside, at the court, at the secretariat, at the resort. You don't want to miss...